Okay, another brief video, another one in the car, for RPG A Day 2020 as we once again leave the vet. So, we got stitches out and uh, other more uh, chronic items looked at, which we come here on a weekly basis to deal with. So it was pretty easy. And we didn't have to exert any effort to get what we needed done, done. There was no one waiting in line, and uh, there were no complications or problems with any of the items. So we're both feeling pretty good. Probably me more than him, because I didn't have to be poked, prodded, have stitches pulled and cut all that stuff, but, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it was effortless. Now, today's prompt for RPG A Day, for us, not everybody else, or not most people, is push. And push doesn't have a whole lot of additional meanings or conceptually they're more strongly linked than some of the other ones we've teased out as having, you know, ambiguous or, or multiple meanings. But there are, of course, different times and places and situations where one could or should push, and there are perhaps different conceptions of who could and should, depending on the context of play, be doing that pushing. When is it helpful for the game master to, or not in my case for this metaphor, the ghost master to push? And what would that push entail? Why would that push take place? Do we give them a push to move them in the direction of an expected plot, such as when running a prepared or you know, pre-printed or purchased scenario? Is it when the group has stated something like, you know, we really want to have a gripping dramatic play with lots of intrigue and, and uh, strong focus on the in-character experience, but they spend most of their time chit-chatting and ordering pizza, is it then? Is that a good push? Not a good push? The questions that come up for self-evaluation are things like, we have agreed to play a different way or play a completely different game, and we don't have the habits, we haven't built the momentum to travel in the, net, in the direction that that game expects. Well, we may discover that we love playing that way, or we may discover that we hate playing that way, or that we're neutral to playing that way. We have no particular reaction whatsoever, or there's a broad mix. There's lots of different reactions we could have. But not all of those reactions, we could say, are properly met by the Game Master pushing, or one or more of the players pushing for appropriate play for that situation. Sometimes it will be because you just need that little push to let go of a past bias, a, a past assumption, uh, a habit of play. You just need that little bit of extra help in the form of encouragement, in the form of direction, in the form of a reminder to break through the wall of habit and preconception into the new environment of play or the new situation or the new mix of people or whatever it is. But sometimes no amount of pushing will matter. A friend of mine used to say, you know, sometimes a window <laughs> It's a strange expression, but he used to say, sometimes a window is not a door. And what he meant by that is that not all things 
through which you can see allow you know you to pass through them you can see the other side but you can't always get there for whatever reason either a limitation in the self or a problem with the thing that you're trying to do but either way sensitivity to who should push how hard should they push in what way should this push take shape this is one of the many learned social skills that can be practiced in a role-playing game environment although interestingly it's among the skills that are not explicitly taught by role-playing games. We get lots of advice for things like handling genre or how to speed up this or uh, you know deal with things that people perceive as problems with system. We get very little instruction or advice on the social end which is by far the larger part of the RPG experience and it's interesting because often we'll find we need to push push as players because we don't understand the situation we we don't get the clues we don't get the context we're new to the genre and we need we're not enjoying things exactly right in this moment but we can taste it we can see it we can almost reach out and grab it and we just have to hang on a little harder and push off from where we were standing and then we'll get to the good part like any new endeavor there's that transition period where <laughs> a leap of faith is going to come, where you have to push off of the known and enter the unknown. As players, we need to push ourselves. We can help each other with a gentle and encouraging push. The game master is faltering. We can give them a little push. Don't worry about not being perfectly adept with the rules. We trust you. It'll be fine. We'll work through it, and then we will get to that place where we're comfortable with the new game. Don't worry about it. Just that little push, that encouraging, helping hand. And then sometimes, after concentrated effort, after sincere experimentation and exploration, it might be time to push the game you're playing to one side and pull another one to you. Anyway... Not exactly the briefest of brief videos, but for RPG A Day 2020, Day 16, thanks for listening, and I look forward to sharing something again tomorrow and seeing all the cool things that other people are sharing. Take care.